Well, good evening, my friends and family. How are you guys doing today? It is, let's see what it is. What it is, what it is. It is January 30th, 2023. 29 degrees up here at Snow Summit, 7.32 p.m. And this is where we are located right there in accordance to where the lake is. We're on the north shore of the lake. And we're gonna start off this drive here. We're gonna go through the whole lake again because the snow is gonna be ending here in a few minutes. So I just wanted to make sure that we get some nice views of the ski resort again. And it's so beautiful. I wish we could drive up there. I know, guys, I haven't even been home yet since I did that live feed. I don't even have my jacket, but hopefully I don't get in any trouble. I kind of want to go up to the snow machines. And just take a look at them from close up. Hang on, guys. We're going to do this. Parked where I shouldn't be parked, I'm sure. But there's no one here except employees working on the snow and security. So hopefully we can bypass some of the security. Not, not, I'm not trying to be sneaky. I just know for insurance reasons they don't want people up here after hours. Look at these snow blowers, guys. Now we're getting drenched with snow right now. I do have my beanie this time though. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. That guy got that snow machine put on right there. Awesome, look at that. They just shine their flashlight at me. I think that means time to go. But yeah. There's some more, 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 more people over here. What's up, guys? Going? Good. How are you doing? Doing alright. Yeah. That's so, okay. so for my my YouTube channel is called Big Bear Weather and More, and okay. I, I drive around and I record all our storms for eight years. I've I, I've done this one. Do you guys mind if I, I put you on? Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Okay. Yeah. Are you, are you no, no, no. So I, I'm actually something separate from Ben's weather. Okay. But uh, if you YouTube, I got like 15,000 followers. And, it's got, uh, what's the channel called? Big Bear Weather and More. Big Bear Weather and More. Oh, yes. Out. Guys, please do. Yeah. Please do. And I'll, thank you. I'll definitely check that thank out. Thank you guys for all your hard work here. Um, you guys make this place a wonderful place for our tourists, friends to come up here and visit. So thank I you appreciate guys. that. Thank you very yeah. much, sir. Yeah. Uh, you, you can hang out here. Yeah, you can hang out. Just, 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 don't go on the slope. Don't yeah, yeah. You're totally, you're totally... Guys, yeah, you. you're totally free to be here. Just we just make sure that you're not gonna like go up on a slope. So For good. insurance reasons and stuff, I totally get it. Yeah. Totally get it. Guys, this is as far as I'm going right now, I promise. Alright, guys. Thank you, you too. Check it out. Big bear weather and more. Alright guys, take care. Guys, that was really cool, man. They're letting me stay here if I want. Yes! That was security. Just look at this thing. Look at all this snow being made. All right guys, we're on freezing. We've been out here for almost four minutes. I know it's not much time, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna walk through here. Kind of through the snow summit area here where you come buy your tickets and stuff like that. I hope they don't have any of the music playing right now.
They told me to stay warm because they can see I'm dressed like an idiot. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a freaking fireplace over here. Guys, look at this. Look at this place. It's truly remarkable. Hey, sir, you're not supposed to be here. Uh, hello? Oh, he's not listening to me. He's frozen. All right, guys, we're gonna head back to the car. So we're gonna go down these steps. Usually when I pull up here, this is where we pull up, right up here. Well, that was cool. Glad we got to do that. Here's some steps. Hopefully we don't fall. All right. That's where you buy your tickets here, guys, right there. Yeah, this is awesome. We got snow falling off the roof onto me. Love that. Oh, we gotta get back in the car though. I'm glad they uh, are okay with me parking straight ahead. You guys see me right there? That's my car. That is my car. I hope they check out the channel. That would be cool. I'm really surprised they haven't heard of it, to be honest. Because it is such a small town, but remember, guys, we actually ship in a bunch of people from not just our country but all over the world to work here in the wintertime. They clearly lived here or from America for sure. We're still getting natural snow from the sky as well. Oh, all right, let's, let's do this, let's get out of here. Ooh, very cold. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. I came to win by all means. That's a sin. All right, so we're gonna start heading to the other side of the lakey, the lake of the lake. Here's the big parking lot. You know what? We're gonna go through the parking lot to get to where we need to go. These are some really nice condos right here. You guys can rent those. It's right on the freaking lift, right on the freaking, just, you know, on the ski run. <laughs> Bye, Snow Summit. We'll see you later. I don't know if you guys can see the clouds up ahead of us, way out there. It's pretty bright over there. I love it when it's like that up here. Whenever we get snow, you guys, the sky is a lot brighter at nighttime because of all the lights in town reflecting the snow. It's so pretty. So now we're on Thrush. Let's turn on our brights here. Here we go. This is the exit from Snow Summit. Take this to Big Bear Boulevard and take this all the way around the lake. But you know what? We're going to go a different way this time. We're going to turn right at Big Bear Boulevard and go around the lake that way because you know why? On my way back, I'm going to stop at Mickey D's, get a couple double chase burgers with extra double chase, some fries. <laughs> to make myself as fat as humanly possible. I think that would be wonderful. All right, we're at, we're at the boulevard now. So we're gonna go to Stanfield Cutoff and then take that until we get to North Shore and then turn left. And then boom, there we go. Let's get a little loose right here if we can. Nope, tires grip too good, too well. It's unfortunate. Can you guys believe that I'm saying it's so unfortunate my car grips too well? 
<laughs> and uh, there's no other person that would say that. They'd be like, oh my gosh, thank goodness my car grips so well, or I wish my car gripped so well. So my wife did pull into 7-Eleven because she was going to go on the ride with me, but she had the dogs in the car. And because of my new car, I just, I, I don't want the dogs in the car, you know? I hope that's not mean, but I had to get this this video taken care of because the snow is ending shortly. We're still getting snowfall. I hope you guys can see it's still snowing out here. It's still 28 degrees in this, in this bay. I live really close to this area right here. Hey, Shooter, you want to go to Sizzler? Or was it Red Lobster? You get some grub? All right, let's see. Where are we at? Okay, Fox Farm. I, I know where we're at. I don't even know why I said that. So the reason we're going this way is so you guys, when we get to the Big Bear Dam through Fawn Skin, through that area, it'll be the same route that you guys take into town, most of you. Highway 18 on the front side, through the Little Arctic Circle, and then into Big Bear Valley. Big shopping center over here. We'll do a walk over there. I need to do the Big Bear Village walk, I really do. I'm just trying to like figure out what, what would be best. If when I'm walking on one side of the street, filming the other side so you guys can see everything, I think that would, that would be best. I, I'm kind of a little nervous because uh, you're not supposed to get people on film unless they say they want to be on film, unless they verbally agree and you catch them verbally agreeing or they sign something. And I don't, because of this channel growing so much, um, believe it or not, there are a few haters out there um, and I just don't want to give them any, any, any ammunition, you know? All right, so we are at Stanfield Cutoff. This is, it says Starvation Flats, okay? Starvation Flats is if you turn right, Stanfield Cutoff, we're turning left. I'm interested to see what the lake looks like from Stanfield Cutoff. I know it's dark, but with all the snow and the lights, hopefully we can see something. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn up the defroster again a little bit. Guys, thanks again for the beautiful live feed today. That was amazing. You guys are so sweet. I think I'm gonna do that every storm now. I'm gonna do a live feed for us every single storm. All right, here we go, here's the lake. Wow, look at how beautiful it looks through the camera, everything. You can't see it too well, but it just looks spectacular. We're at the end of the lake, you guys. We're at the very end of the lake. The lake used to go right up to this road, but not anymore. There's Snow Summit back there. Make our trek. Let's make our constant trek. And then obviously for the aftermath video, we cover the whole entire main part of Bear Valley. So that means from Baldwin Lake to the Big Bear Dam. But yeah, guys, thank you, thank you again for being part of that live feed, man. That's it's really awesome to see you guys there and to actually communicate with you guys in real time like that. I try to respond to every comment, but since my wife couldn't go with me because I got a late start, um, unfortunately, I, I probably missed quite a few comments, but I hope you guys see, I really do my best. I really do my best because it's hard to drive and respond at the same time. Like it's, it's not easy. It's really not easy, you guys. I really bust my butt for you guys. And not responding bothers me a lot. Because I do really care about you guys a lot. I love you guys very much. And every single one of you, every single one of you means a lot to me. You guys have been so instrumental in, in my emotional well-being. It's just incredible. I owe you guys everything. So that's why when this channel grows, because of you guys supporting it and helping me grow this channel, I'm finally deciding to grow the channel after eight years, but because of you guys doing that for me, um, when we get big enough when it's it's making okay money then then you know what we're gonna 
start doing more as much more for you guys as I can like I'd like to put you guys up in in hotels and do stuff like that and buy a small building or something and turn it into a really nice little hotel for you guys just just for us I'm sure once our our channel is big enough we could we, we you know we could have it sold out all the time and you guys wouldn't be paying big bear prices the usurious prices it would be fair so everyone can get a chance to come up here and enjoy this place because once again this is southern california guys and it's snowing it's pretty darn cool i gotta say it's pretty darn cool and the other reason as i said besides taking this route to show you guys what it's like driving into town for you once we get to the dam it's also because we'll be passing mcdonald's once we get into town that's where i'm going to end the video at mickey d's Mickey D's burgers. Okay, so we are on North Shore, you guys. AKA, this part is Highway 38. And we're taking this into Fonskin. This is where we're at in accordance to the map. They should call it Shark Lake because it looks like a shark. They really should. Look at that. The tail is Baldwin and the front part is Big Bear Lake. And let's just see this, 27 degrees, 7.48 p.m. We should be done with this drive by about 8.15. And in these conditions, I do drive in the very, very, very center when there's no traffic because uh, if we do lose control at all, I have space to, to correct it. It was really cool walking up there to Snow Summit watching the uh, snow machines working though. I'm really hungry so I'm kind of driving a little faster than I should for... I'm, I'm, I'm going the speed limit but you know, you got to drive the speed that the conditions let you drive so if it's dangerous like this you don't want to drive the speed limit you want to drive what's safe for the conditions for me i'm comfortable with it and there aren't any other cars on the road except this guy in front of us so i'm, I'm not too concerned about it driving through fawn skin right now wish we could have our brights on because it would show some of the, the houses on the side but we don't want to blind this guy in front of us do we no we don't 26 degrees now temperature is no it's just when it's right when i pointed it there it went back from 26 to 27 unfreaking believable So all those yellow lights over there, that's Snow Summit. That's where we started the video. I get around on this channel, don't I? I mean, yeah, it's the same area, but I get around. I already have 4,000 miles on my new car and it's just driving up here. 4,205 miles. When I picked it up, it had two miles. I'm, just, I'm obviously assuming that was from the test drives and stuff like that. I want to show you guys something cool. I can do like a magic trick and this car in front of us will freaking disappear. It's crazy. It is crazy, but I'd like to show you guys. I'll be like one, two, three, and then do like uh, I Dream of Genie or Bewitched does. Oh wait, no I won't because there's a car in front of him now. Never mind. 
was going to show you guys a, a David Copperfield style, style trick, but it's not necessary. Oh, look, he's making the trick work for us. See, I told you I would make it work. I'd make him disappear. Boom. <laughs> this is a beautiful part of town, guys. This is fawn skin. It's really, really quiet. Um, really quiet. Not much going on over here. I think the, the, the little market slash liquor store, which is tiny, stays open to like 7.30 or something like that. And then there's nothing else. There's a couple little shops right next to it, but nothing much. And a place to eat breakfast. I think it's called North Shore Cafe. It's really, really yummy. I ate there about 20 years ago when I visited this place. I haven't eaten there since though. It's just too far. And I really wish my wife didn't have the dogs with her so she could be with us right now. But we didn't have time for me to follow her home, put the dogs away because the snow was was ending rapidly. So I, I wanted to catch the end of the snow for you guys. And then the next video is gonna be early tomorrow morning probably for the aftermath. And I've been getting some driving requests, so I will acquiesce those as well. Uh, someone, a wonderful lady named Thelma, wanted me to drive up into the hills of Fonskin so we can get some uh, lake views from the Fonskin area. Obviously can't do it at nighttime, we're not going to be able to see anything, but uh, you know, maybe we'll see. Uh, if not the aftermath video, because that's already a long video because I do the whole valley, uh, maybe in one of the next snow videos. Here's the Moose Lodge, right there. We have an Elks Lodge up here too, right as you enter the village. Okay, we're in downtown Fonskin, don't blink. Here's the little market, they're already closed. We've got a fire department, we've got a post office, there's part of the fire department right there. Both chains required, all wheel drive with snow tires, okay. Here's the post office right here, the Fonskin post office. And now we're out of Fonskin, at least out of the downtown part. the open road folks we're passing the we're going through the eagle sanctuary now the eagles are on the right hand side here somewhere up here i have no idea where they're in one of the trees eagles closed eagle sanctuary that's the sign said right there We're gonna be coming up to a little view of, of the lake and snow summit. All the lights. So here's the lake up to the left of us here and straight ahead. But since we're on this side of the road, we might not get that good that kind of view. I'm gonna roll down the window so I can stick my phone out. 26 degrees. inside it is 26 degrees now 7 56 p.m this is where we're at this is where we are okay let's get the brights back on here we go when i get my other subaru back because of the storms it's it's been hard to get my other car back and my motorcycle I haven't had my motorcycle in almost 10 months because the engine blew up, but it was still under warranty, thank goodness, or I wouldn't have a motorcycle anymore. And then my other car, I got in my first car accident. It was my fault about three or four months ago, and it's taken them that long to fix it. They told me uh, 
they have it done quickly, but unfortunately a couple of the parts were on serious back order. So that didn't really help my cause. So that's why I had to get this car because I wouldn't be able to do these videos. I'd still be without my Subaru. And now I'm like pushed to the very limit and worry every single night. But you know what? I know a lot of us do. We all worry about our bills and stuff like that. It's, but I'd like to be able to someday put myself in a position where I don't have to worry about that. And I'd like that for all of you too. Because life would be so much better not having to think about that stuff or worry about that stuff, right? So yeah, we don't have any snow falling from the sky at the moment. But I bet when we get back on the other side of the lake, over by the dam, there should be a little snow falling, or at least on the drive towards Mickey D's. There should be, but we shall see. We're making good time on this drive on today, but it's like there's no snow on the ground. That's that's how good time we're making. <laughs> I said kind of stay closer to the center. That's what I do. I, I, I do tend to drive closer to the speed limit or maybe even a little bit more sometimes in these conditions and uh, I need to give myself plenty of out if I have an issue. Plenty of out so I don't affect any, any property or anything like that. Only want to affect myself if I do end up in a situation. But these snow tires, Arctic Claw, are phenomenal. I think it was like 900 and something dollars for them, you guys. But I got them installed up here, so that's probably why they were so expensive. I didn't want to have them installed down the hill and then have to drive up on dry pavement for a long period of time with these tires. Obviously, I do that up here. I have to, but um, once the snow season's over, I switch them out for my regular tires. back up to 27 degrees we're driving right alongside the lake I know you can't see it but we're driving right alongside the lake right now and here's the Big Bear Dam yep nothing happening over here weather wise but I'm it's looking like it's a little darker over here so we shall see going that direction if we get a little bit of flurries coming down. But yeah, this is gonna be, you can see Snow Valley out there. That's Snow Valley Ski Resort, way out there. It's part of Big Bear Mountain Resorts now, which is pretty cool. I mean, they're probably gonna jack up the prices now because of that, so that's not cool. But then again, I don't know. So I don't wanna say that and sound like a jerk. But I don't like the prices being so high up here for you guys, you know. It's you guys who create the jobs up here. It could be a little more fair to you guys. Instead of thanking you by jacking the prices up when it snows, you know, <laughs> they should thank you by like discounting the prices when it snows. I know on a business sense that that doesn't make any sense, but. I'm gonna do something for you guys someday. It's probably going to be quite a few years from now, but we, we will have something special on this channel for you guys. Come on, light. It's really hard to trigger these sensors with all the snow on the ground. So we're going to back up a little bit, see if we can trigger the sensor. Okay. 
this one got triggered. Now this left turn light's turning green again. If this green light doesn't turn red, oh, we're gonna be stuck behind this guy, oh no. That's two sets of lights that we've been dealing with. Okay, let's back up again. If this guy turns green, we're out of here. Yeah, we're out of here. There's no one coming either way. Not much you can do there, guys. We waited for two sets of freaking lights. There's no cars coming either way. That was my safe. Again, this is the direction that you guys come through to get up to Big Bear, to get into Big Bear. So we're just crossing the dam. I know a lot of you recognize this part. Hey, if you guys are still watching, please, please like this video, subscribe. Please like all my videos, please. It, it's, it, it could have a huge impact on me. and. In turn, I'll, I'll try to have a huge impact on you guys. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Snowflakes coming down with me. I can see it. It's not much. But look at how beautiful this place is, guys. Unreal. Just gorgeous. We are in the snowiest part of the valley, you guys. As you can see, there is a lot more snow over here. But I bet out of this last storm that we were supposed to get a foot of snow, they probably got three inches over here. Maybe not even that much. So I'll tell you what, for those of you who think I can't stop running my mouth, trust me it's hard for me it really is but what i want to do is for like five or six minutes just shut up again and just enjoy a peaceful part of the drive all right you guys let's see if i can pull that off good luck nick here we go it's 805 26 degrees this is where we are at let's do it
I wish you would have checked out the live feed earlier, but no. I did another live feed today. It would have been cool to see you there, but no, you're gonna be happy the snow is ending probably right about now. Since you're on the other side of town, you might get a little bit more, but it's not gonna be anything, I promise. It's just gonna be a couple snow flurries and that's it. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Thank you for being so cool about it. I really appreciate it. I was so embarrassed having to contact you about that. All right guys, once again, if you guys wanna see the hotels that I've stayed at up here in the Airbnbs, I have one playlist and it's all about that. This is one of them. I try to stay in the biggest room they offer and I stayed in the biggest room they offer here. It was like 1100 square feet. It wasn't expensive at all. It was like, a, it was like 200 bucks a night for a humongous room like that. We want to stay here, but they're jacking people here. $1,100 a night for tonight? Like, are you kidding me? Not worth it. But it is one of the nicer places in town, I'll tell you that. Oakside, good, good restaurant, you guys. And I didn't realize Village Music moved all the way over here. That's cool. I'm gonna have to check it out. Queen B, you guys, it's a new shop. Great ownership up here. It's a great, great shop up here. They have amazing honey products. You guys should check them out. It's really close to Jack in the Box. We've got some bars here, but I don't drink. And I'm really worried about, hold on. Hang on a second. All right, so I was, uh, yeah, never mind. Let's just go. All right. Look at all these kids. Yay, you guys get to play in the snow. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. That's that's what it's that's what's so special about this place is seeing families like that enjoying themselves, just letting loose, just being at peace, having that heavenly feeling. I just uh, jumped in front of someone's camera shot. Didn't mean to. If they only knew who I was. <laughs> Just kidding. Guys, please, when, when I joke like that, I know I'm nobody, and that's who I am, so. There used to be a really good lobster place up here. It only lasted about a year. Really sad, but it's just not, not the right market. I mean, just most of the jobs up here don't pay enough to be able to eat and get lobster sandwiches that cost 25 bucks every day. Once again, Robin Hood Resort, one of my favorite places in all of Big Bear to stay. Yeah. Lost the road, lady. I don't want to run anybody over tonight. That wouldn't be a fun ending to my night. So we're back on Big Bear Boulevard after we went through the whole village. And guys, we're going to pull into Mickey D's and end the video there. I just want to say thank you guys again for being here with me. Thank you for enjoying what I do for you guys, man. I love this. I love sharing this town with the world. Um, you guys are very, very awesome people. The comments, the love, the donations, like every, everything you guys do for me is paramount to me being who I am today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'm never gonna let you guys down. I'm gonna bust my tail for you guys always. So thank you guys. I, I get to all the comments. I mean, I, I rarely ever miss any comments. So leave me comments. Let me let me hear where what you're about, where you live, um, if you enjoy it these drives around the town so thank you guys um once again if you're enjoying what i do please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell 
to be notified for all my up, upcoming videos. I will never miss a storm, so you guys will always be up to date on what's going on up here. Um, yeah, just once again, thank you guys for everything. I love you guys to freaking death. And here we are at Mickey D's. I will talk to you guys later and tomorrow morning. Obviously, I'll be responding to your comments tonight, though. Peace out, folks.